Al-Hashr, the banishment, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Whatever lies in the heavens and whatever lies in the earth declares the glory of Allah. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. هُوَ الَّذِي أَخْرَجَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ لِأَوَّلِ الْحَشْرِ مَا ظَنَنْتُمْ أَنْ يَخْرُجُوا وَظَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ مَانِعَتُهُمْ حُصُونُهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ فَأَتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَمْ يَحْتَسِبُوا وَقَذَفَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمُ الرُّعْبِ يُخْرِبُونَ بُيُوتَهُمْ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ وَأَيْدِي الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فَاعْتَبِرُوا يَا أُولِي الْأَبْصَارِ It is he who turned out from their homes, those who had disbelieved, from among the people of the scripture, on the occasion of the first banishment. You never thought that they would quit while they themselves thought that their strongholds would defend them against the judgment of Allah. But the punishment from Allah came upon them from quarters they little expected. He struck their hearts with terror, so that they demolished their houses, partly with their own hands, and what remained of them was being destroyed at the hands of the believers. So take warning from them, O you who have insight. ولولا أن كتب الله عليهم الجلاء لعذبهم في الدنيا ولهم في الآخرة عذاب النار. And had not Allah decreed exile for them, He would have punished them in some other way in this world. And in the hereafter, they shall certainly have the punishment of the fire. ذلك بأنهم شاقوا الله ورسوله ومن يشاق الله فإن الله شديد العقاب. Because they cut themselves off from Allah and His Messenger, and he who cuts himself free from Allah should bear in mind. That Allah is severe in retribution. ما قطعتم من لينة أو تركتموها قائمة على أصولها فبإذن الله وليخزي الفاسقين. You cut down no palm tree of theirs bearing small dates of inferior quality, or left it standing on its roots. But it was by Allah's leave. Allah gave you this leave so that He might disgrace the transgressors. وَمَا أَفَاءَ اللَّهُ عَلَى رَسُولِهِ مِنْهُمْ فَمَا أَوْجَفْتُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ خَيْلٍ وَلَا رِكَابٍ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يُسَلِّطُ رُسُلَهُ عَلَى مَنْ يَشَاءٍ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ Whatever property and goods Allah has given as spoils to His Messenger and taken away from these, enemies after they had made preparation for war against the Muslims, is of God's grace. You made no expedition with either cavalry or camelry for the attainment of this. Rather, the fact is that Allah gives His messengers authority over whom He will. Allah is possessor of every power to do all things desired by Him. ما أفاء الله على رسوله من أهل القرى فلله وللرسول. فلله وللرسول ولذي القربى واليتامى والمساكين وابن السبيل كي لا يكون دوله 
كي لا يكون دولة بين الأغنياء منكم وما آتاكم الرسول فخذوه وما نهاكم عنه فانتهوا واتقوا الله إن الله شديد العقاب Whatever property and wealth Allah has given to his messenger without warfare as spoils, taking it from the dwellers of the towns, it is for Allah, his messenger, and for the near of kin, and the orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer. It has been so ordained that the wealth should not circulate only among you rich people, and take whatever the messenger gives you and forbear from what he forbids you. Take Allah as a shield. Surely Allah is severe in retribution. لِلْفُقَرَاءِ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ الَّذِينَ أُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ وَأَمْوَالِهِمْ يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا وَيَنْصُرُونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الصَّادِقُونَ The wealth so obtained is also meant for the poor indigent refugees who have been turned out of their houses and made to part with their possessions while they were seeking the grace and bounty from Allah and his good pleasure, and who helped the cause of Allah and his messenger. They are the people who prove their claim of being sincere in their faith and to be true. وَالَّذِينَ تَبَوَّأُوا الدَّارَ وَالْإِيمَانَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ يُحِبُّونَ مَنْ هَاجَرَ إِلَيْهِمْ يُحِبُّونَ مَنْ هَاجَرَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَا يَجِدُونَ فِي صُدُورِهِمْ حَاجَةً مِمَّا أُوتُوا وَيُؤْثِرُونَ وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصَةً وَمَنْ يُوقَ شُحَّ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And in this wealth there is also a share for those, the helpers, who had settled in the city of Medina and had embraced the faith before these refugees arrived there. They loved those who migrated to them for refuge and who even though poverty be their own lot, found no desire in their hearts for that which is given to them, but they gave them the refugees' preference over themselves. And bear in mind that those saved from the covetedness of their souls are the ones to achieve the goal. وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِن بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَؤُوفٌ رَّحِيمٌ and this is also meant for those who came into the fold of Islam after them. They say, Our Lord, protect us and our brethren who took precedence over us in accepting the faith, and let no rancor or spite occupy our hearts against those who believe. Our Lord, you are surely compassionate, ever merciful. أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ نَافَقُوا يَقُولُونَ لِإِخْوَانِهِمُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ لَإِنْ أُخْرِجْتُمْ لَنَخْرُجَنَّ 
لئن أخرجتم لنخرجن معكم ولا نطيع فيكم أحدا أبدا وإن قوتلتم لننصرنكم وَإِن قُوتِلْتُمْ لَنَنْصُرَنَّكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَشْهَدُ إِنَّهُمْ لَكَاذِبُونَ Have you not given thought to the case of those who practice hypocrisy? They say to their friendly Jewish brethren, those from the people of the scripture who have committed breach of faith, if you are turned out of Medina, we will certainly leave with you. And we will never obey anyone where you are concerned. And if you are fought against, we will certainly help you. But Allah bears witness that they are surely liars. لَئِنْ أُخْرِجُوا لَا يَخْرُجُونَ مَعَهُمْ وَلَئِنْ قُوتِلُوا لَا يَنْصُرُونَهُمْ وَلَئِنْ نَصَرُوهُمْ لَيُوَلُّنَّ الْأَدْبَارَ ثُمَّ لَا يُنْصَرُونَ If they are turned out, they will never leave with them. And if they are fought against, they will never help them. And if ever they come out to their help, then they will surely run away showing their backs, and then they themselves will have none to help them. لَأَنْتُمْ أَشَدُّ رَهْبَةً فِي صُدُورِهِمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّهُمْ قَوْمٌ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ Muslims, the truth is that you are held in a greater fear than these hypocrites hold of Allah. That is because they are a people who are devoid of all reason. تحسبهم جميعا وقلوبهم شتى ذلك بأنهم قوم لا يعقلون They, the Jews, will not even fight against you offering a joint front. They will fight only from within fortified towns or from behind ramparts. Their fighting spirit among themselves is desperately severe. You think them to be united, but their hearts are divided. That is because they are a people who do not refrain from mischief. Their case is like the case of Banu Qainuqa. A Jew tribe at Medina, the immediate predecessors who were defeated, they suffered the evil consequences of their evil doings, and they received a woeful punishment. Again, the case of the hypocrites is like that of Satan. Behold, he says to a human being, Disbelieve. But when he disbelieves, he says, I have nothing to do with you. I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. فَكَانَ عَاقِبَتَهُمَا أَنَّهُمَا فِي النَّارِ خَالِدَيْنِ فِيهَا وَذَلِكَ جَزَاءُ الظَّالِمِينَ At the end of both of them is that they are both in the fire. There these two shall abide for a long time. Such is the recompense of the wrongdoers. يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله 
O you who believe, be mindful of your duty to Allah. Let every soul look to what it sends forward for the morrow, the day of requital, and take Allah as a shield to guard against the consequences of evils and further commitment of them. Verily, Allah is well aware of all that you do. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنفُسَهُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ And do not be like those who gave Allah up, so that He too made them give their own selves up. It is they who are downright sinners. لَا يَسْتَوِي أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ وَأَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ هُمُ الْفَائِزُونَ The inmates of the fire and the owners of the garden of paradise are not alike. It is the owners of the garden that have achieved their goal. لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون. Had we revealed this Quran on a mountain. You would have surely seen it falling down in all humility and splitting asunder for awe of Allah. These are wonderful things which we narrate for people that they might give thought. <laughs> He is Allah. He is the one beside whom there is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship but He. He is the knower of the unseen and the seen. He is the most gracious, the ever merciful. <laughs> He is Allah, beside whom there is no other, cannot be and will never be one worthy of worship but He. He is the Supreme Sovereign, the Holy One, the Most Perfect. Bestower of peaceful security, the guardian, the almighty, the compensator of losses, the possessor of all greatness. Holy is Allah, far beyond and above the things they associate with him. يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم. He is Allah, the Creator of the matter and the spirit, the Maker, the Bestower of forms and Fashioner of everything suiting to its requirement. All fair attributes belong to Him. All that lies in the heavens and the earth declares his glory. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise.